It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Here we are, NBA fans. Playoff game four of the second round with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome to 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Charlotte Hornets playing against the Boston Celtics in Boston. Looking at Boston, a withering loss in game three. They'll have to play much better tonight. We'll see if they can steady themselves and get it done. And Kenny, a monster elimination game tonight. If you're the underdog and fighting for your playoff lives, what do you do to turn the tide in this series? Oh, you got to play like there's no tomorrow, Ernie. Every 50-50 ball, those are those balls that are just rolling down the court. You got to get those. Every second chance opportunity will win. So, you know, those small battles win the big war. You know, it takes only one big win to get that momentum back on your side. That happened for me and D-Wade back in 06 when we were down against Dirk. And the Mavericks 0-2 yeah. came back and won. And that is it for Can us. Can you dig it? As we send you to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports Group. Welcome fans to the postseason of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. It's Charlotte taking on Boston. Taking a look at Boston. They're facing elimination and the fans in this building know that this could be their last game of the year without a tremendous effort. And in a lot of ways, I feel like the pressure could be off. I mean, you're down 3 nothing. Nobody's expecting anything from you at this point. They can just go out and let it fly. I agree with you. I mean, that's exactly right. You've got to win this game. You're down 3-zip. Play freely, play confidently, and let it all hang out. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. Chase in a two-guard. Also, Kemba Walker out there. Michael Kid Gilchrist out there with Al Jefferson. And it's Goodman in at the four spot. Yes, strong move to the basket there. Nice power to get that up and in. And the Celtics with possession here. They are still stinging from the loss on Thursday. And I don't care how much you grind it out defensively. When you shoot it that poorly, you're going to struggle to win games. Well, it's not only going to be a struggle. It's going to be virtually impossible if you shoot as poorly as they did. There's a screen. Freak sets a screen for Walker. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. And here's Boston. Thomas with the ball. Just five to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And there's Michael Kidd Gilchrist on the assist by Freak. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. Thomas kicks to Sullinger. Here, he's covered by Chase. It's Sullinger with the drive off on the layup. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And it's out of bounds to the Hornets as Charlotte retains possession. Risky pass in a situation like that. Very lucky that wasn't a steal. Fortunate to get it through. I thought he was headed the other way with that one. And it's the Hornets with the ball. And it's Freak missing. Side Thomas. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Down low. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul and he'll make him earn him from the line and that's what you want to see. He hits both from the strike. For Charlotte, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Walker with it. Now Thomas defending. And it's Walker penetrating. Pass to Chase. 
It's Kid Gilchrist on the wing. Six on the shot clock. At the elbow, it's Freak. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Come on now, let's go. Well, I tell you, he squeezed that orange as tight as he could before that throw down. Yeah, no way he was going to lose that thing on the way up. You're right, Clay. And, and better safe than sorry on that one, guys. Now, here's Thomas. Down low. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Walker. And a wide open look for Freak. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got three assists in the game. Celtics trail by five. Thomas passes to Johnson. Back to Thomas. Valanciunas sets a screen for Thomas. He kicks it to Valanciunas. Shot clock at six. Good on the baseline, Jay. Obviously a mix-up defensively on that possession. Walker against Thomas from deep three-point range, and it's Freak missing. It would have been something to see if he could hit that shot from that deep. Greg, you know it. I know it. There aren't very many guys that can hit from out there, but he is one of them. That's the kind of range he has. Hornets leading by three. It's Kid Gilchrist on the wing. 144 and left to play in the first quarter. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Charlotte shooting their first free throws of the game. Two free throw good freak. So Boston ends up going with a new group. And both free throws good from Freak. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Thompson sets the pick for Beverly. Green, an easy layup after coming off the pick. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. And it's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. So far, so good for them at the offensive end here in the early going. Yeah, the great field goal percentage to start exactly what they were hoping for. Now here's Crowder. Addition out to Green. High post shot. And misses it off the right side of the rim. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Shoots. And Charlotte again with the bucket. And after his last game, really not surprised to see him as hot as he is here tonight. Now here's Beverly. He's covered by Roten to the middle. Here's Green. The shot no good. And the Hornets now going the other way. Dishes to Roten. Here's Chase. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Hood dishes to Roten. From deep three-point range. And Freak gets it to go on the assist from Roten. And that's 15 points for Freak. You could not diagram a better way to open a quarter. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the lead they've jumped out to already. What a start. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. When it's ahead, up by 11. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. of the Eastern Conference semifinals. And what do you guys think? For now, for Charlotte. Celtics trail by 14. On the floor for Charlotte. Chase, he's in a shooting guard. Also Kemba Walker out there. Al Jefferson out there with Hood. And it's Goodman in at the power forward position. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high quality shot on the follow, just like he got there. From the sideline, the let's catch up with Doris Burke. 
Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Celtics really lit it up from the floor. He had 43 yes, points, sir. and he tallied those One points, and he got there with his usual way. Just an impressive barrage of threes. Absolutely amazing numbers from him in what was truly a memorable performance for him and for us, Kevin. Great job, Doris. Thank you, guys. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can stay in a role like that tonight. Yeah, I mean, sometimes those hot streaks can last for days, and, and, and I'm sure they're, they'll be feeding him the basketball, he hoping he's still got that mojo work. Well, they ought to. I mean, when you've got a thoroughbred like him, I think you've got to ride him for as long as he'll carry you. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Sullinger, the screen. Outside Thomas, shot clock at six. And the pass to Sullinger. A three-pointer off the mark. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. The they've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. Here's Thomas. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Johnson in the corner. All sorts of time. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Now here's Freak. He's guarded closely. Out to the right wing. Hood kicks to Freak. And it comes off the front of the rim. You know what? You just cannot get much better of a look than that one. Exactly. I mean, no way you expect him to miss that shot. The Celtics working the ball around now. To the inside. And he finishes nicely on the way. He has five. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And it's paid dividend. You got it. And with as many inside. points as they've gotten in the paint, you know, they haven't had to do much work on the perimeter. And he's been the catalyst all game long. Love how he's distributing the basketball. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, when the offense runs through him, it's really smooth. Johnson outside. Here's Sollinger. It's deflected. And so we wrap up. Game four as we get ready to start things up again. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. And how about the opening half of basketball he played? I mean, so much riding on this game, and he came out with a sense of urgency to start. And that's part of his greatness. I mean, in big games, he always performs, lays it out. He loves the games where everybody's watching, and you can see why. This is a big-time performer here. We've got Isaiah Thomas. James Johnson is out there with Jared Sullinger. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. That's the group for Brad Stevens getting going here in the second half. Sullinger, no good. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Chase the pass to Kid Gilchrist. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Kid Gilchrist has got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Charlotte. Walker against Thomas. Screened by Valanciunas. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. Here are this postseason's dead-eye shooters. These guys have knocked down a ton of shots from downtown. Freak is second. He is having so much success from beyond the three-point line. Some guys just thrive on this kind of pressure. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Johnson attacking, and he banks in the lane. Johnson. Johnson's got five points so far. Hornets leading by 15. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. 
and it's Freak missing. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, because he is so strong in the paint. Sullinger with the bucket. Wow, fired that bounce pass in there beautifully. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Now here's Freak. Tight defense on him. And Walker kicks to Freak. Fires the three. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And now, 24 points for Freak. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Timeout. Start it. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, guys. Well, Brad Stevens... And some changes here for the Hornets. Rodney Hood comes in for Michael Kidd Gilchrist and Freak subbed in for Walker. Beverly up top. He's covered by Roten. And it's blocked. And here we go. Freak heading to the hoop. Rips down the breakaway slam. That's a terrific sequence at both ends of the floor. They block the shot and recover it for the fast break finish. The screen from Thompson. Crowder kicks to Azili. They double him with Freak. Releases. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Jared Sollinger's check in for Boston. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Kid Gilchrist, he's checked in for Rodney Hood. And it's the Hornets with the ball. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. Kid Gilchrist dishes to Ajinsa. The one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his yes, hands yes. doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. And really, that's what makes him unique, that combination of power and polish. And Beverly kicks to Green. Offensive rebound, Sellinger. Add another make to his scoring column, his fifth basket of the game. Now shooting five of 11. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. You've got to be relentless. The shooting percentage continues to elevate here in the second half. Well, as a group, they've been harmonic since the break. In sync, good team basketball, resulting in high-quality shots. And so when you're missing. Good little two-man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. Yeah, but that was a beauty. Good-looking shot, well-executed play. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to it. Stolen by Beverly. And here we go. Fast break. Beverly's got it. And there's the whistle. Foul hard yeah. on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Freak. The Celtics shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Patrick Beverly. And the first one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Seven seconds left to play here in the third. Fires for three. The shot no good. And as we conclude the third quarter, you back here to the broadcast of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Charlotte leading by 23, and Charlotte looking at who they've got. Chase in its shooting guard. Also Kemba Walker out there. Michael Kidd Gilchrist out there with Jefferson, and it's Goodman in at the four. Now here's Thomas. Double team on Thomas. Pulls up. High post. The shot is off. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Now, Freak. There's the pick. Move the ball and stick From it From deep. Much. Rebounded by Valen Junis. Valen Junis has got five rebounds tonight. Feeds to Thomas. And a foul called on Freak. That's his third foul of the game. That's his third personal foul. Sellinger passes to Thomas. 
And it's going to be a three-second call. He's not doing them any favors with those kinds of errors. Especially now, Greg, with every possession being so crucial. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. And here's Freak. Inside, shot clock at five. Jefferson, that's good. Boy, guys, they've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. Excellent. Four straight passes leading to scores. Great team play. Thomas, here we go. Stolen by Barnani. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here on the fourth. And that one's good. Free. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Hornets. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. You know, adding on to that, you look at their block totals tonight, and you see how feisty they've been on the defensive end this game. Back to Woolridge, five to shoot. And stolen by Freak. And here we go, fast break. Freak's got it. Oh, oh wow. That's a beautiful jam. Almost intimidating the defense there. They didn't even try to get back on defense. Well, I don't think it would have mattered even if they did try to get back, Greg. I mean, there was no way anybody was going to beat him to the bucket there. That Kia slam cam replay really gave you a good look at the action. Offensive rebound. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Thomas with the ball. They need this. It's rebounded by Bargnani. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. Let's it go from deep. Goes back up. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. That's his first personal foul. At the line, the Celtics. Ken Mason. Taking two shots. The first one falls for him. Looking at the game bazemore has been having, he's got eight points and four assists as well. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. For Boston, they've gotten off to a rough start in the fourth quarter, going 0 for 4 so far. Thomas kicks to Henry. Pass to Thomas. They set the pick. For three. Kept alive by Boston. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. Let's the three fly. Good. 34 points for Freak. Three triples in the first half, three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Woolridge, the screen. Outside Thomas, looking to end the drought. A nice shot by Woolridge. And how about that for a response? Well, it sounded as though, or at least it looked as though it sounded like, we'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. Here's Chase, and it's the Hornets, another three. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Three of their last five makes come from beyond the arc. The defense has to react quicker. Outside Thomas. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Well, I tell you what, it's easy to get spoiled watching this fella. I mean, he just makes it look so simple. Here's Chase. 
and another three for Charlotte. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot. And it's killing them. Four of the last five makes coming from long range. And guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted, and that's why it's going to be on to the next round for Charlotte. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, Stephen Clark. Uh, an all-around dominant performance. Clark, and you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. I certainly did, and they just cracked it open and made it an NC. No contest. Yeah, I like that. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Freak. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. First one falls for him. Green, he's checked in for Boston. Patrick Beverly comes in for Thomas. And a switch here also for Charlotte. A Jens is checked in. 58 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Bazemore. He dishes it to Ajinsa. Charlotte moving it around. And Charlotte again with the bucket. This is a serious game-clinching run they're on. Yeah, I agree with you. Just not backing off here. I mean, they're looking to close this one out in style. What a time to have this kind of surge. Outside for Woolridge. Shot clock at six. And stolen by Freak. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Passes to Hood. Bargnani a screen on Woolridge. Ajinsa kicks to Freak. Clock at four. And another three for Charlotte. Well, guys, they came in here and really took charge from the opening tip. This is such a tough thing to do for a visiting team. This contest was played on their turn. And you know, that's not the way it usually works in the NBA. It's gonna be a great win, and you know it's gonna be a happy plane ride out of here, for sure. And that's we gonna do it for this series. Tonight. They'll move on. And with the four game sweep, they steamrolled their way through round two. Now, Greg, they head to the conference finals on the highest of notes. And to that point, Kevin, I really feel like this team is playing their best basketball of the season. They're going to have some downtime before the next round, but as well as they're playing, probably wish this thing would start tomorrow. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference Playoffs. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our entire 2K sports group. Thanking you for tuning in. And coming up next, the post-game show with Ernie Johnson, Shaq, and Kenny the Jet. The 2K Sports post-game show. Kevin, much appreciated. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Freak. He had just an outstanding fourth quarter performance. He really had the fire lit under him. And down the stretch, really having a huge impact on the outcome of this game. He gave them an enormous lift tonight and make sure they're moving on to the conference finals. He said, you know what, give me the ball, let me go to work. This is barbecue chicken soup play with a diet soda. He was up to every single challenge he faced tonight. He was in such control of the ball game, his showcase of his skill set was awesome. So that's the finale of this round two series of the NBA playoffs for Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. I'm Ernie Johnson. Now on to what should be an amazing conference finals coming up in just a few days. We will see you again soon.